Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Pedroni from Intellectual Medicine. Today's topic is intravenous vitamin C with regard to its application in the setting of supporting cancer. Many patients suffer with cancer and go through orthodox treatment with chemotherapy as they should and must. Chemotherapy targets killing cancer cells. We know there's more to it, however, than just torching cancer cells. Back in the 1980s and 70s, it was Dr. Linus Pauling and his colleague, Dr. Cameron, who first used intravenous vitamin C to support patients going through cancer. Now, Dr. Pauling had the theory based upon his observation that scurvy behaves a bit like cancer, that vitamin C, which cures scurvy, might be helpful in cancer. Like cancer, scurvy eats through organs and breaks down collagen as it does so. He therefore put forth his theory and applied it toward patients being treated for cancer. He noted that they seem to live longer when given intravenous IV vitamin C. Subsequent to that, at the Mayo Clinic, they did a study looking at vitamin C and cancer and found no benefit. However, they used oral supplements. We now know that the oral supplements cannot achieve the high blood levels that seem to be necessary to gain the benefit. Complementary alternative medical practitioners like those at Intellectual Medicine have continued to apply intravenous vitamin C for its supportive benefit in the face of patients fighting cancer. At high dose, vitamin C is pro-oxidative. It overwhelms cancer cells, which have a limited capacity to metabolize the hydrogen peroxide that the vitamin C creates. Normal cells neutralize the hydrogen peroxide rather easily. What you have then is a cellular effect that is toxic to cancer cells, but healthy for native cells. This is very exciting because it has the ability to support and potentially enhance the effect of orthodox chemotherapy. In addition, when used on an ongoing basis intermittently, it may help to forestall relapse of the disease. Now, these statements are not FDA approved. Vitamin C is not approved for the treatment of any cancer, but the theory and the research is growing and is certainly worth your time to reflect upon. Lots more to this topic. You can go to our website to learn more or Google it yourself. I'm Dr. Steve Pedaruni from Intellectual Medicine. Thanks for listening.